Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. We're talking about the manifestation of God. I am calling this one Your Truth. Your Truth. I want to talk about the manifestation of God. I'm expecting God to show up and show out in my life like never before. I'm expecting him to blow my socks off like only he can do. Your truth. I'm going to focus on Psalms 25 and 5 in the NIV. Psalms 25, 25 and 5 in the NIV for my verse this week. And it says, guide me in your truth and teach me for you are God. My Savior and my hope is in you all day long. Again, Psalms 25 and 5, NIV. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. And my hope is in you all day long. With everything that's going on, and it's just so much going on. So much, so many, so many negative things. And so many, you know, just, just things to bring your spirit down. That's going on all over the world. And and if you just think about it, you know, right around you in the your city, your town, wherever you're from. I mean, if you... Or a person that likes to watch the news, you can see just it's just a lot of stuff going on. And you pick up your cell phone or your tablet, and you see they always feeding you something that's you know going on in in this world. And it can you know can can really if you don't be careful, you watch too much of the stuff. It can really make you feel hopeless, and it can drive in fear and worrying, and you just. I don't know, just get you down, get you depressed because there's so many, so many negative things. And with, you know, people worry about, you know, if we're going into war, if something's going to happen. Um, you know, you hear people talk about all all kinds of um, things. And you got all the things with the, um, the nuclear nuclear power that, you know, that, that people have and that, people could people could use it can really you know say it really can weigh on a person's mind so with that you have to put your hope and trust in the lord whatever may come whatever may happen and that's you know that's that's the the thing you should focus on because like i said it's just i mean just all the time and if you not watching the news or stuff not popping up on your phone and you just, you know, just living. You can just go to your local, you know, convenience store. Just go grab some chewing gum or something. And you can hear all kind of awful things. Go, you know, just run to somebody you know. And they can tell you about all these bad things that's happening or happened to someone. And just like really, it really can be draining. So with that, put your um your hope and your trust in the Lord. And, you know, whatever may come just trust him trust him for whatever may be you know because not you just live in in fear and live in been worrying all your hope that's will be taken taken away because it's just so many it's just so so many negative things on every way you turn and just continue to focus on god and his or his word and whatever may happen just Make sure your salvation is sealed and you're doing the right thing. Your walk is, you know, upright and your walk is what God wants it to to be. And like I said, you hear me say all the time, be obedient, be, you know, be obedient. And God has a way of, you know, putting you in the right place at the right time. God has a way of, you know, warning you of certain things. God has a way of, you know, using his Holy Spirit to do a lot of things. And so a lot of times we're, we're so busy doing other things. Or be entertained by other things, if it's positive or negative, that a lot of time we're not doing like we're supposed to on our journey, on our walk. So put your hope and trust in the Lord and just continue to grow in the things of Him, whatever may come.
whatever may happen. Just know that God is sovereign and he's sovereign and he, you know, he's ultimately is in control. So that his will be done for what, whatever, whatever may come. And so, again, put your hope and your trust in the Lord and be at peace with his word and with his guidance. And that's, you know, that's all I have to say about that. And I'm going to pray. Father, I come to you. Stand on Psalms 25 and 5. In your word, it says, guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Father, whatever may come, whatever may happen, Father, I thank you for having me to continue to grow in your word. Father, my hope and my trust is in you. You're an awesome God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So with that, like I said, just, just know with all the negativism, the negative things, that's you know that's happening you know right around you in your city in your town in your state in your you know country or whatever put your hope and trust in the lord and grow in his word if you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with jesus christ all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept jesus christ as your lord and savior and if you have a relationship all you have to do is continue to grow, 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 be the brightest light you can be. Read your Bible, walk in obedience, and pray, pray, pray. Talk to God as much as you can. I'm Dr. Lee. Thanks for watching. Let go, let God, and keep it moving. Take care.